Welcome to Between Rounds at the World Cup of Martial Arts, where we showcase the journeys and achievements of exceptional martial artists. Today we're honored to host Master Holly Ham, a fifth degree black belt, president of the Professional Martial Arts Conference and owner of Resolute Martial Arts in Florida. As a promoter of the Destin Open Martial Arts Tournament and a board president of Shelter House, focusing on violence-free relationships, Master Ham brings a wealth of experience and inspirational leadership to our discussion. Join us as we dive into the world of martial arts with one of the sport's most dynamic figures. Hey everybody, this is Mike Petraka coming to you from Between Rounds, the World Cup of Martial Arts. And today we have a great guest. We have a fifth degree black belt of the American mm -hmm. Karate Association, president of the Professional Martial Arts Conference, owner of Resolute Martial Arts in Florida, and promoter of the Destin Open Martial Arts Tournament on the Promac and Nazca circuits in beautiful Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and also mm -hmm. a board president of Shelter House Domestic Violence Center, helping to make sure all relationships are violence-free. I'm talking about Master Holly Ham. <laughs> Holly, wow. how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you. That's quite the introduction. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's 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 what I am known for. I'm I'm very <laughs> proud to say that Don Wilson, Bill Wallace, and other people asked me if I would travel with them. And I said, hey, I'm a big eater. If you cover my expenses, we'll we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks so much, Holly. I, I really appreciate you know you joining us on between rounds. I'd love to get to know all about the great things you're doing. And but I, I gotta tell you, you're my first guest from from down south. So I'm also very excited oh. about that. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah, you need some some southern charm in your in your podcast, right? <laughs> a absolutely. And, and and the other thing mm -hmm. I, I gotta tell you is I is I looked up where you grew up. It's Covington, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So you grew yep, up in I'm Georgia. Like uh-huh. I'm, I'm a Georgia peach that lives at the beach now. Georgia peach <laughs> at the beach. I, li I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. So, so now I'm, I'm a Rhode Island guy. And I got to tell you, I, I love Savannah, Georgia. But yes. now I looked at the map of where you are and where Savannah is. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa. I said, that, that's a, that's a three-hour gap. I mm -hmm. said, so we're, we're not used to that around here. I mean, as much as I love right. Savannah, I think if I had three hours in between, I, I, I might I might just say, I, I, I don't know. It, to see my <laughs> best friend 10 minutes down the road, for us Rhode Islanders, that, that's a little too much. <laughs> right, yeah. For, Florida's even worse <laughs> because you can, where, where I am at in Destin is 10 hours from Miami. And oh. most people don't realize that, you know, that it's kind of like Texas, you know, from one side to the other. It's it's quite quite a trek. I forget, I forget how big, big the rest of the nation is living in my own little right. <laughs> state over here. But tell yeah. me, what, when did your martial arts journey begin? Um, well, I, when I was nine years old, um, the, the, the truth is I wanted to be a Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> like legit. I wanted to be yeah. Michelangelo. He was my favorite. And <laughs> I begged and begged and begged my parents to let me take karate. They, they originally were pushing me to do more girly things. Um, sure. but it just wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. And then finally, uh, my, my little neighbors next door who they had kids about the same age as, as my siblings and I, and they, they were going to do their first karate lesson. So I begged to go with them uh -huh. and, uh, the rest is history, pretty much. <laughs> That's how. Did, did did you see? Were you a fan? Were you in the theaters to see the old ones, the live uh, action yeah, ones? Of course, yes, all of them, all of it, all yes. of them. Huh? Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you, What do you think of the new ones compared to the old ones? Uh, I think they're doing a great job with them. I think that they're they're doing a you know a good job modernizing them, keeping them relevant. You know, Nickelodeon buying it was brilliant. Um, you know, so I, I think think you know keeping it relevant. I'm 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 happy to see that. You know that that kids now know about them. You know and love them like I do. You know I I'll see my students with like the original cartoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. you know, and then I'm, and they're like, yeah, this is the OG Ninja Turtles. And I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> I wish I kept so. some of my original toys. I feel like they'd be worth worth mm. something nowadays. A lot of them are. Yeah. <laughs> and and tell me about the work that you do with, with the students. Like what what types of important lessons do you teach your students at your dojo? 
Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm always an advocate about that. You know, we we use martial arts as a um, a way to teach char character. You know, to teach uh, you know how to be a better person, how to, you know, uh, navigate life, how to, uh, you know, not just defend yourself physically, but, you know, confidence and self-esteem and, you know, and all those things. And so, and, you know, and of course, self-discipline and respect. And um, so, so, you know, we use martial arts as an avenue to, to teach those things, you know, plus, plus the physicality, the athleticism, you know, all that is, is, is a great time too. Um, and uh, staying active is important too. So absolutely. Yeah. T tell me about that. Cause you, you don't just do, do martial arts. You, you do other things to stay active from what I read. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I love, I love orange theory. Um, I, that, that's my, that's my competitive zone these days. Um, and, uh, and, and hot yoga uh, mm -hmm. is, is also a favorite of mine. I feel like it, it balances out martial arts really well. Um, kind of the yin and the yang, um, you know, the, the static balance versus the explosiveness. Um, mm -hmm. So, so that's really, I've really been drawn to that. And it's so challenging. Like a lot of people <laughs> that don't have experience in yoga, we'll think about, um, so we'll say things like, sorry, that's, my dog. That's, that's for your editor to get this right. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. This is also a big part of my life. I have five dogs. <laughs> um, five, and, uh, Holly. I five do. dogs? Yes. Oh my yeah. God, I have one and she's a handful. Yeah, I um, I'm I'm a terrible foster parent because they don't leave my house. Uh, so once once they come in, uh, you know the the whole like foster like give them to another family that yeah. just doesn't happen. So uh, so yeah, so I have a, a little pack. Um, but uh, but yeah. So if you hear them, <laughs> um, then, no, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> you might hear the little pitter patter on my hardwood floor, and then that means my dogs come in to say hi. Right. Yeah. They're great. I mean, it's, I, I can't imagine, you know, not having that love around. So that's another passion of mine, you know, our, our animals in general. Um, uh, but yeah, um, lost where we were before that. Oh, um, yeah. Um, we were talking about just the, the students, the lessons you're talking about, me about mm -hmm. hot yoga, what, what you do yes, yes. Um, in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I just I, I love anything athletic. Yeah, and I think I was saying about how surprisingly challenging hot yoga is. Um, a lot of people the yin think and the yang, just, right? The yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Right. So it's challenging in a whole nother way, and it's and it's 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 hard. You know, a lot of people think it's just stretching, and and stretching is challenging sometimes just by itself. But but true hot yoga, man, it's 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 like ninety minutes in a hundred degree room doing anything is hard. You know, so it's I, I, it's really I, been I, cool. I, I've done it once and the the person who did it whispered in my ear after and she said, you know, you did a great job. And she said, maybe next time you want to bring two towels with you. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I, said, <laughs> yeah. I made the mistake of bringing one. And, yeah. I always take two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Rookie. But yeah. I feel like it's a, it's a great. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it's, it's a great compliment to martial arts and I always recommend it to anyone. You know, it helps you maintain and increase your flexibility, but it's also you know, it just, it just really makes you better in, in, uh, you know, in all ways and, and mentally, like I, it's great for me mentally too. You know, that's, it's, it's the only time, you know, the meditation at the end of a super hard class, you mm -hmm. know, when you like, feel like you're barely alive, you know, but you also feel great. It's kind of weird. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the only that time. Part. Yeah. That's the only time when my, when my mind fully shuts off when I can mm. really get into mm. that place. Cause any other time it's like, you know, got a billion things, you know, but uh, yeah. so, so it's great. So I'm, yeah. I'm, and, and I, you know, I'm looking at the billion things, you know, that I talked about <laughs> during the intro and I, I want to touch a little bit upon, upon everything. I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's amazing having guests so accomplished as, as you who's doing so much, but it, it, you know, there's only so much time to talk about it, but uh, tell me, tell me first about the, the, your dojo resolute martial arts. What types of things do you offer there? What's the vibe? Tell me a little bit about that first. Yeah, uh, I, I opened it in 2009. Uh, so it's been a minute now. Very humble beginnings um, in, in a little 800 square foot room. Um, much, much different these days. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's, 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 it's awesome. I'm, I'm so grateful for, you know, our, our Jojo family. Um, we have a really, really tight knit, positive 
uh, group um, of, of parents and students, and and uh, and I'm really grateful for that. They're the ones that make it awesome. Um, we uh, we teach uh, sport karate, you know, so mm-hmm. we're doing uh, creative and extreme uh, forms, and then sure. our self defense is is based on Krav Maga. Uh, mm-hmm. So very realistic, you know, practical situations, especially for, you know, the kids and, you know, the how to how to effectively defend themselves. So all, all of our self def- self-defense work really comes from from that style. And um, and then we teach kickboxing, too, uh, which, mm-hmm. you know, is is kind of, you know, the uh, you know, I, I'm actually a, a descendant of Joe Corley. Um, so we ca- kind of have that kickboxing influence. Yep. Um, and, uh, and then we also, and, and Krav, Maga, Krav Maga a little bit in there, um, with some drills and, and then, then Muay Thai influence as well. Oh, so so, so we're kind of, well. a, excellent. yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely part of our kickboxing curriculum, um, for sure. Uh, so I, I love it. And so, so kind of what we teach in my school is, I guess, a collection of all my, my favorite training over the years. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then we're very tournament focused. I mean, that, that's totally appropriate for <laughs> the rest of what I do. Um, Absolutely. but, uh, so, so yeah, so we we're at point fighting and, and, uh, you know, extreme and creative forms are, are kind of our specialty, I guess you'd say. And then tell me about because uh, being being a promoter, you're also I think the first uh, well one of the first promoters I've had on the show. So tell me about the the Destin Open. How how do you get involved with that and ProMac and you know being on the NASCA circuit? Yeah, um, I I uh, I competed uh, when I was when I was younger. Um, I did a lot of the the local Georgia you know tournament scene and some NASCA uh, stuff and and just absolutely loved it. You know I. Yeah. Loved it. So, so when I opened my own school, I really wanted my students to get the, you know, that, that same benefit, you know, all the things that competing did for me, I wanted them to have that experience. So, you know, uh, when I, when I felt established, then I, then I started a little competition team and was taking them around to some of the same uh, places, you know, tournaments that I had been to. Yep. And, uh, and then I've been long-term friends with, um, with the Rudolph family. Uh, oh, yeah. And, yeah. My, and, uh, my, my, yeah. my co-host for two years will probably be back for three mm-hmm. at the uh, Ocean State Grand. So Jackson yeah. and I have gotten mm-hmm. to know each other well. Love Jackson. Shout yeah. Out. <laughs> right. So, so we, we go way back and, and actually I had Jackson at the school doing seminars and, and, uh, and then his, um, his mom was there and, and, uh, she, she said to me, she was like, you know, Holly, you really should do a tournament. You really, cause I was doing inner school tournaments, you know, and, and, you know, doing it on a small scale. And she was like, you really should, you should just, and I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. And then, then also I kind of, I got involved in ProMac through them. Um, ProMac had just started, um, yep. and, uh, I went to, to SmackDown, um, in Tennessee and that's, you know, the, the Presley and Rudolph tournament there. And, and, yep. uh, so, and so then, then I got introduced to, to ProMac and, and so then I'm like, okay, well, I, I like what these guys are doing. I really like the the vibe and the mission that they have and how they're trying to uh, create quality events because we all know not every tournament's made equal. Um, right. And right. Uh, so I'm like, okay, if I'm going to do a tournament, I feel like I can do it with them. And I feel like I'll have that support and I can, I, I, okay, I can do it. <laughs> and uh, so so then the Destin Open was born uh, on the on the Pro Max circuit and, uh, and really, really grateful for it to be um, as success, successful as it has been, you know, it's fun to have a tournament right on the beach and I was saying, uh, people I've have seen a good time. Pictures. It's really nice. It's a nice location. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, the, our, the it's really the only convention center in, in this area, um, but it literally is on an island. Um, it's Okaloosa Island. Is, and so it's um, so really the bay and the and the gulf are just, you know, right there so you're surrounded by water so um so the the venue like you can see the beach from the steps of the venue and yeah. then the, the hotel across the street that we always use it's it's got a great view and it's on the beach and so um but 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 not super expensive uh, usually you oh. know so it's it's so it's you know we're able to, to we got a good relationship with them able to get a good deal to be beachfront and um so uh so yeah it's been it's it's grown it's it's been a lot of fun and and uh, I'm happy to to have everybody host everybody here every year for that. Yeah, that's me. Mm-hmm. How many years running now? Have you had it? Um, this will be year five. Awesome. Um, 2024 or six? Yeah, five, five. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, they all run together. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 been fun, and you know, just trying to make it better and better every year, and you know, is is the goal. And um, you know, our cool skim skimboard uh grands are are pretty pretty popular and so and uh you can go and take your your grand champion trophy right onto the beach and actually use it which is really cool. oh that that's amazing mm. oh yeah, that, that, yeah. that's great well, well yeah we'll i have to take up a shot made. of that i want to see that <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a skim board and I, I, they're, you know, got a different graphic on them every year, but I actually, we use boat graphics for it. So, yeah. um, so it's literally, you know, it's waterproof and you can actually use it. So, yeah. That is, that's probably one of like the, the coolest trophies or awards that I've heard. <laughs> that, that, I, I hope so. That, that was the goal, you know. <laughs> pretty, pretty darn cool. I remember when I was when I was uh, playing tennis uh, years ago in one, one tournaments and stuff, one, one tournament gave a horseshoe. And that was oh, like cool, yeah. so cool, you know. Yeah, so you I remember I think that. The unique uh, yeah. you, you remember it, you know. Of course, mm -hmm. as a kid, I was like, oh, I kind of want the trophy, but no, no, now the horseshoe is is cool. So skimboard, that that's amazing. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, a lot of our Pro Mac tournaments, you know, we're kind of, are kind of known for that of having unique grands, um, like the the Memphis Open coming up in February. Uh, the grand uh, prize is a is a guitar. Um, it's a oh. blue guitar, El this cool. could be the Elvis theme and all that, you know, yeah, so, yeah. you know, so that's super cool. You know, we, we have several events that have really unique uh, awards. That's awesome. That That's mm -hmm. really, really cool. And tell me, mm -hmm. how how did you become an advocate for healthy relationships and your involvement with Shelter House? Yeah, a Shelter House, is, this is a, a my, my kind of my newest uh thing I guess you'd say that I've that I've been involved in and super uh grateful to be a part of that organization. Um like like you said it's um it's all about um supporting domestic violence victims and promoting healthy relationships and uh so it's it's a cause that's dear to my heart. I actually was in an abusive marriage. Um, and uh, so getting out of that situation, um, I just really wanted to take everything that I learned, everything, you know, that, that I went through with that and just, you know, do something positive with it and, sure. and help others and, you know, and, and grow, you know, in that regard. And, and just, I just felt like I could, I could share my story and, 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 and just be uh, a part of the solution, you know, and, uh, and help support the the organization here um that is that's helping people that um that that need it um so yeah um i uh, i got on the board um last year and then uh became the board president this year uh so so yeah but it's it's an awesome organization um so it's it's a physical shelter uh mm -hmm. for domestic violence victims that need that so you know if you need to to get out of your of your home or your you know uh where you're staying with the abuser is it's it's a a way to 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 leave that situation and have a safe place to sure, go safe. um but right and that's and that's what i knew of the organization but i now know that in addition to that um we we uh provide all kinds of other resources so maybe you don't need that um but you do need help uh getting a restraining order together and you don't know where to start and what oh, do you do okay. so or, you, the, you know or piece. Yeah. So, so there's all, there's no matter what piece that you need, cause everybody's situation is a little different, um, you know, but, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to, to navigate, you know, and a lot of times you stay longer than you should just cause you don't know how, like, what do I do, you know? Um, so, so yeah, so there's lots of resources that we have. And, and I told you about animals being close to my heart, actually yes. shelter house is one of the few shelters that also has a kennel um it's, it's oh. uh for for pets because a lot of people um i forget the the percentage but there's a there's a large percentage of people that won't leave a domestic violence situation because of their pets and they don't want to leave them behind or they don't want them to be in you know in uh danger and uh, so they stay to protect them or be just because they don't have a solution for that because most shelters you know they won't take that oh take that's them. really interesting um, but yeah, so so but Shelter House has has a kennel, so that's that's not you know an obstacle that they have to overcome. You know that your pet can come with you, and uh, so that's that's super cool and something that I really you know that touched my heart even more because now we got yeah. two huge things that are really you know really precious to two me. You know, causes. and so yeah, so so I'm like I really this is this is a great fit. I really want to get involved and help with this organization as much as possible. So. 
it's been really cool. And was it was it difficult or how how did you get to a place where you could, you know, heal from your own experience and then help others? Yeah, that that was it, it was a thing. <laughs> um that, you know, I've always been a very private person, so that, you know, that part of my life being I guess exposed uh was was a big thing for me. Um that was that was tough. Um, just to be public about it, or just, I mean, I say public, I mean, no one in my life knew, no one. Um, so, but I now have now realized that there's so much healing in talking about it and putting out there. And, and so, and through, you know, I kind of jumped into shelter house almost, almost right away um, after getting out of the situation. And then it, it kind of forced me to, mm -hmm. to be, you know, more uh, open about it. And I'm glad of that. It's what I needed to do you know, yeah. and, uh, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do that now. I, it's so, so that's, that's been a process though, you know, sure, um, it's, it's scary. It's super scary, um, but totally worth it. And you feel better by the minute, you know? So, um, so yeah, that's, that's been a really, you know, good thing for me personally, something that shelter house has done for me inadvertently, um, you know, in that way. So, and, and, and hopefully, I mean, it sounds like in hearing you talk a very em empowering experience now. That's oh right. yes, totally, totally. And, and just to be able to, 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 you know, if my story helps anyone, then it's all worth it, you know? So that's, that's kind of how I view it. So, and, and, and just to, to be able to, to be there. You're not alone. You're not the only one. You, you know, someone right now that's going through it. You just don't know, you know, and that's, it, it's way more, um, more common than anybody thinks, you know, mm. and just getting, you know, getting that awareness out there is, is I think important too. Well, thank, th 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 thanks so much for, you know, your, your honesty with this, you know, being willing to talk about this, your, yeah. you know, your bravery and and then helping others. Um, you know, I, I know, I know it's not easy. So yeah, th thank you. Thank you for the work that you do with that. For yeah, sure. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's a, a win-win, trust me. <laughs> and tell me, um, what, what can we expect from you in, in 2024? What, what, what do you got going on? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you got a lot going on. What 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 are your, yeah, what, are your, what, are your what, what are you most excited about what are you what are you waiting for um, Well, immediately um, there's Pro, Pro Mac has some some growth this year. Um, we've we've added on uh, the AKA Warrior Cup um, mm -hmm. is now part of Pro Mac for the first time this year. So oh, that's excellent. actually next week. Yeah, so um, so that's uh, heading to that and and bringing our full team and being you know we we've always supported you know the the Warrior Cup. It's a great tournament. Um, you know, at Sensei Sharky and and uh, Hunter are are great people. And you know, I'm um got my you know my my last ranking through AKA you know so they've always been great friends of of, of Promac you know in general we've always supported them but to be able to to do it you know in a bigger way this year is super exciting and, uh, and it's a great event so yeah so we're very much looking forward to that and uh bringing our our, our team there again and and uh being more involved this year and it being on the Promac tour uh so that's that's super cool and so that's that's a big big jump this year. Um, and, uh, as far as everything else, just, you know, keep on working to, uh, to grow and improve all the time. You know, I mean, that's, that's kind of, kind of the thing. I'm sure I'll pick up something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Typically what, what, how it works. What, what else can you, can you pick up? But then... I, I don't know. Things find me sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, um, but, uh, which, which, you know, it's, it's great. Uh, so I, um, I imagine that there'll be there'll be new challenges and new 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 things in 24 um, beyond that too. So we'll we'll see. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I I look forward to seeing everything you're doing. And and lastly, selfishly, when are you going to invite me down to the Destin Open? I, I want to go <laughs> I mean, to the beach. I want to come. <laughs> well, May 10th and 11th, uh, we will see you here. <laughs> so yeah, Britt, come on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I love, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, thank we'd love so, to have you. <laughs> thank you so much, Holly, for, for joining us. Everybody, Master Holly Ham doing <laughs> some great work. Catch her events. Oh, and where can people find you? Where can they contact you? I want to make sure everyone um, knows where to where to where to see you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, you can, I mean, you can find me on on Facebook and Instagram. Um, just Holly Ham on there. Uh, you can um 
you know, we got promackkarate.com. We'll tell you all about uh, the Promac uh, League and uh, and all of our tournaments and everything that we do there. Um, so in any any communication through that usually comes through me. Uh, so, yeah, there's lots of ways to get in touch with me. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Thanks so much, Holly. I appreciate your time, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon. As we conclude our insightful conversation with Master Holly Ham, it's evident that her passion for martial arts goes beyond the dojo. Her dedication to teaching, her leadership in organizing martial arts events, and her advocacy for healthy relationships highlight the multifaceted impact one can have on their community. Through her work, Master Ham not only champions the physical and mental benefits of martial arts, but also uses her platform to promote positive change and empowerment. We thank Master Ham for sharing her journey and insights with us, inspiring our listeners to pursue their passions with determination and a heart for service. Until next time on Between Rounds at the World Cup of Martial Arts, keep striving for excellence in all aspects of life.